Is this a plant or a weed? Weeds are plants, Jay. They're just plants that we don't like. Oh, well, I like this one. So is it a plant or a likeable weed? That's a lettuce, Jay. Oh, a and this one? That's a, a weed. Out with it. Oh, I feel sorry for weeds. I mean, what have they done to us, huh? Listen to this, Jay. Ayanda. The New Town News is to hold a competition to see who can grow the healthiest looking vegetable in a New Town garden. Vegetables? Oh, vegetables and cool, Baba. Nonsense. You should enter. It would be fun. Hey, Baba. And there's also a prize. The winning gardener will be presented with 500 rand cash and 500 rand worth of gardening tools. I think they should have a competition to see who can grow the healthiest looking weed. Oh, shh. Hey, who said growing vegetables isn't cool? Why don't you enter, Baba? I'd love to, but the competition is open to children only. But you are a fantastic gardener. So, what if you grew the vegetables and I entered them for the competition? I'm not joking. I hope so. Come on, Jay. Let's go and tell Spider and Frankie if we all entered, we'd have more chance of winning that 500 bucks. Come on. Hey, what about my wedding? Oh, finish later, Baba. We don't have a minute to lose. <sighs> Spider! Spider, where are you? I'll give her a toot. <laughs> we are in here. Uh, oh. Yes. What are you doing? What do you think of it? Wow, it's a bookshelf. It's very nice. Did you make it all on your own? With a little help from Spooky here. <laughs> but what are you going to do with a bookshelf? You don't have any books, do you? Well, I'm going to get them. I'm going to become the biggest reader on Abitua Lane. Just you wait. But books are expensive. I don't care. I'll find a way. Hey, listen. Mm -hmm. My father told us about a competition. With prizes. Mm -hmm. Hey, 500 bucks. Choo, 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 choo. Mm -hmm. I'm in. What do I have to do? There's nothing to it. You just have to grow the healthiest vegetable in town. Vegetables? Mm -hmm. But I've never grown a vegetable in my life. Oh, come on, Spider. It's no big deal. You just stick a seed in some soil, add water, and pow! <laughs> vegetables! <laughs> Competition! Hmm, yeah. Fine. But vegetables? There must be a thousand people who know more about growing vegetables than I do. And I'm only thinking about my close friend. I'm going to grow a milli. And I'm growing tomatoes. Come on, Spider, give it a go. I'll think about it. Hmm, 500 wrong? For a vegetable? No! <gasps> oh. Can't you look where you're going? Did you hurt yourself, Mr. Agrippa? No, I didn't hurt myself. This stall of yours hurt me. Things like this lying about, and of course people are going to walk into them. What were you reading? It must have been very interesting. Oh, oh this, this competition they're running. 500 drums for the healthiest looking vegetable. They put a poster about that. Look! Oh, yes. That's the one. Isn't that a tempting prize, hmm? But the competition's only for children, Mr. Agrippa. Hmm? Yes, you see? Boys and girls only. Oh, yes. That's what I was thinking of my nephew, actually. Your nephew? Little, uh, little, uh, what's his name now? Little James, yes, that's the one. James! Oh, little James would easily be able to grow a cucumber as big as this one. James, James would know exactly what to do with 500 drums. And what would he do with it, Mr. Agrippa? I can't you guess. <laughs> He'd give it to his uncle. His dear Uncle Agrippa. Yes, that's exactly what he would do with it. All right, all right. We've got the soil mixed, just like the new said we should. Mm -hmm. So from our vegetable bed... Uh, coarse sand... And uh, garden compost. What's next? Um, fertilizer. Oh, it was too expensive. And the man at the nursery said manure was better anyway. Mm. And a lot cheaper. Uh, that's yours, Frankie. Ah, and this is mine. And this is Jay's. Mix it well. Okay. Great. And now, 
Well, uh, see, it says um, the seeds from different vegetables need to be planted in different ways. Mm -hmm. Pick the packet from the, of the seeds that you've bought mm -hmm. for detail. Okay. Amelis, um, that's yours, Jay, and tomatoes for me, and beans for you, Frankie. Ah, so from September to December, that's fine. Plant seeds in rows 50 centimeters apart. 50 centimeters. Ayanda, do you have a ruler? Oh, our teacher says this is about 20 centimeters. I wish spider would grow something. So seeds 20 centimeters from each other in each she row. She says she doesn't have a chance. Well, I've only got space enough to sow one milli, but that's all right. I only need one to win the big prize. Oh, too deep. Mm, it says you should plant your seeds as deep in the soil as they are big. Oh, Spider doesn't have a chance if she doesn't try. Mm. I wish she would. I... You can only win the race if you run it. Isn't that right, Spooky? <laughs> you know. You can only catch a mouse if you look for it. Can you imagine how many books I'll be able to buy with 500 bucks? Thanks, Boots. Press the pumpkin seed into the damp soil, about a centimeter deep. <laughs> Remember, pumpkins need lots of space in your garden. Well, I'm not planting anything at all, so that should do it. Now, a little water. There. That should be all right. The plants should sprout between six and ten days after the seeds are sown. So now, all we have to do, Spooky, is wait. But remember, this is our secret. Just in case something goes wrong. <laughs> not that it will, but in case it does, promise not a word to anyone. <laughs> no one keeps a secret as well as you do, Spooks. Look, Mrs. Bone. Look at my, I mean, my nephew's cucumber plant. Magnificent, isn't it? I told you he could grow anything, my little nephew, Jack. And he's proved it. Can you imagine how big the cucumbers will be that this wonderful plant grows, eh? He's sure to win the big prize. It is very nice, Mr. Agrippa. But I thought your nephew was called James and not Jack. James? Mm -hmm. James, yeah, yeah, that's his second name. Jack James. I sometimes call him Jack, and I sometimes call him James. Just to, <laughs> the mood takes me. Hello, Mama Bones. Go on, Johnny J. Go on, Johnny Van Gana. Look what Mr. Agrippa's got. What is it? This, my dear children, is the winning vegetable in the Newtown News competition. My prize cucumber. But only children can enter the competition. That's what the rules say. Yeah. It is not really Mr. Agrippa's cucumber. He's up to something. This is my nephew, Jacob. Uh, I mean, uh, Jack. Uh, James. Yes, that's it. My dear, sweet little nephew, James. And guess who he's giving the prize to? Me. It is very big. And it looks much healthier than our plants. Oh, you didn't seriously expect to beat me? I mean, Jack, uh, Jack, Jack uh, James, did you? <laughs> because you are going to win the prize, aren't you, my... I mean, James. Uh, I mean, Jacob, that is to say, James's little darling. Oh, forget him. I told you he was up to something. Well, one thing's for certain. Mm -hmm. If Mr. Gripper does have a nephew, mm -hmm. his name begins with J. <laughs> 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 give them oil, give them air. Give them water, give them care. Give them light and they'll take flight. Give them soil, give them air. Said. But look at them. They're all yellow and dead. Up they grow, row on row, up they grow. Time to hoe. A vegetable to grow.
That should do it. The healthiest cucumber in Utah. Say hello. Hello. Well, you've said it now. Goodbye. Oh, Spider, what's the matter? Nothing's the matter. We came to ask if you wanted to see our vegetables. You mean you're still trying to grow vegetables for that stupid competition? Mm -hmm. They really are doing wonderfully well. Yes, my millies are much higher than me now. Yeah. Come have a look at them. Ha! Huh. What a waste of time. You should really give it a try, Spider. It's such fun. Fun? Mm. Forget it. It's just a waste of time and effort. I could think of 33 and a half million things I'd rather do than to try and grow a bunch of damn vegetables. Of course, it is quite tricky growing things. You've got to make sure that they're in the right soil. I'm not interested. You've got to make sure that they get enough water, but not too much. They can drown for all I care. And above all else, You've got to make sure that they get as much sun as you can give them. Sun? That's where we are so lucky on the top of the building. Mm -hmm. Got more sun than we know what we can do with. Come on, Frankie, let's go. But, but, but we've just arrived. I said, come on, Jay. Oh, oh. oh. Bye. Sun? Well... That was our problem then. Hey, Spooky, wasn't it? Yeah. But look, we've got sun in here. It's not much, and it keeps on moving. But what if we kept on moving our garden so that our vegetable plants were always in the sun? Hey, Spooky? Yeah. Mm -hmm. how are your vegetables coming on? Oh, very well, Mama Bones. I have the tallest millie plant in the whole world. Oh. And you should see my beans and our youngest tomatoes. When does the competition close? Saturday, Mom. I don't really have a chance. My tomatoes aren't really big at all. Oh, what a shame. But don't worry. Think of this. However big your tomatoes were, could they have beaten this? Hey, look at this, Ayanda. That's some cucumber. Are you still saying your nephew grew that, Mr. Agrippa? Little Debra. You said his name was James. Or Jacob. Or Jack? Which is it, Mr. Agrippa? Does it really matter? The boy's a whining little brat. Why should I remember his name? Hmm? It begins with J. James, Josiah, Jacob. What's the difference? The point is, he planted the seed, and I am going to reap the harvest on Saturday. <laughs> So how's it, Sissy Spooks? You ready to try this gardening stuff again? You are? Good, because so am I. We're too late to win anything in the competition, but that doesn't matter, does it? We are going to prove we can grow veggies as good as anyone else, right? Right. Step one. Read the instructions. Preparing the right sort of soil for vegetables. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. We've got the fertilizer and we've got compost. Now, let's see. The ideal soil for vegetables has a loose, open texture. <laughs> She's late. Gives you time to finish your weeding, Jay. Well, what I want to know is, where does all the food come from to feed this huge plant? What do you mean? Well, I was just thinking. Imagine, the mini starts off as a little, um, little... Seedling? Right, seedling. But then it grows and grows, and it eats up all the soil. I mean, that is its food, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Soil, manure, and compost? 
So, by the time this giant milli plant has finished growing, it will have eaten up all the soil in the pot, right? Oh, I don't think it works like that, Jay. I mean, look how big your mini is. But there's just as much soil in the pot as there was when you planted the seed. Where does the plant get its food from? I don't know. Maybe it just sucks up the rain that falls on it, or the water we sprinkle on it. Maybe plants are made of water. They've got some water in them, but I don't think they're made of water. Mm, no, it's too solid for that, I suppose. Well, it was just an idea. Hello? Have I come to the right place? She's here! She's here! I'm Noma Malonga from the Newtown News. You must be Frankie. Uh, no, I'm Jay. He's Frankie. And I'm Mayanda. And these must be your vegetables. Mmm, not bad. Not bad at all. That's a huge mealy. Mm. I was wondering where it all comes from. He means the plant. Uh, where does it get all its food from? Mm. I thought it ate up all the soil, but then there's just as much soil now as when I put in the seed. And I thought it lived on water, but it's much too solid for that. Well, look, I'm not an expert. Hey, I'm not a biologist. But what I think is this. I think you're both right. Plants do absorb some minerals and stuff like that from the soil. And they certainly do need water. But they also need sun and air. Air? Yeah. Sure. Plants absorb carbon dioxide from the air. They use the carbon from the carbon dioxide and the water and the minerals from the soil to make food for themselves. The sun's very important because it gives energy to plants to make food out of the carbon, water and minerals. Okay, let's have all of you standing next to your plants for a picture. Smile! Now relax, kids. This isn't a prison photograph. This is for the fun page of the Newtown News. You, Frankie, give us a grin. That's great. Okay, Ayanda. And just one more. You, what's your name? Jay? Look up at your giant Millie. All done. <laughs> <laughs> what happens now? Now? Now I'm going to take pictures of all the other entrants with their vegetables. Then the judges back at the Newtown News have a look at my photographs and they choose the winner. And when do we get to know whether we've won or not? Oh, in a day or two. Then we give the winner the prize and we take more pictures and the pictures get into next week's paper. Great. So whose pictures are you taking next? Someone called... Um, Spider. Spider! You know her? She... she lives just around the corner. We'll show you. Yeah. Oh, you must be the photographer from the Newtown News. I had heard you were taking photographs of the entrance. <laughs> but, sir, the competition's only open to children. Yes, 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 I know. But my nephew, dear Jeremiah Agrippa, is not a... Jeremiah? A desire. Josiah? Uh, Jacob. Jacob? Uh, well, uh, whatever it is. Joshua, John, Julian, goodness. I can't be expected to remember everything. Well, I do have a J. Agrippa on my list. Precisely. The point is, if these dreadful children will allow me to get a word in edgewise, is that little Master Agrippa is ill and cannot be here to have his photograph taken. But this is his cucumber, and I think you will find that it is by far the healthiest vegetable on offer here today. Yeah. Oh, your nephew has done very well. All right, you stand next to it, and I'll take the picture. Go well, out of my way. Go on, out of my way. <clears throat> Say cheese. No, nah, I prefer to say, victory is mine. No, oh, that is to say, victory is little James, of course. <laughs> hey, Ayanda, come look at this. Look at how dry the stock is. He's tied a cucumber to the plant. He's cheating. Ha! That's not enough. Uh, another one? Yeah. Look at what? this. Hmm? Mr. Agrippa's nephew didn't grow this cucumber. Huh? He tied it to the plant. Look. What nonsense. Oh. Tied on? Goodness me, it can't be true. I'm afraid it is, Mr. Agrippa. Look. If I pull it here... Wait till I get my hands on that brat. What's his name? I'm oh. afraid that your nephew is disqualified. Disqualified? The monster! What is his grace? Just wait till I tell him what I think of him. I feel sorry for his nephew, whatever his name is. Come on, let's go and find Spider. Come. Spider! 
Spider. Spider. Huh? Huh? Spider. Huh? This is Norma Malonga. She's the photographer from the Newtown News. <laughs> Hello. You're Spider. Yes, mm. that's me. Well, I've come to take a picture of you next to your entry in the competition. Spider, we yeah. didn't know you'd entered the competition. Why didn't you tell us? Because my seedlings died. I didn't know they needed sunlight. I've planted some more, but they haven't come up yet. Oh, I'm sorry. Doesn't matter. When they do, they'll be great. This is a wonderful place. <laughs> is it yours? Well, let's just say I live here. Once the seeds have sprouted, I have to keep them in the sun. What have you planted? Tomatoes. They should be up any day now. Spider? Huh? Why didn't you tell us about this? Oh, my goodness! This must be the biggest and healthiest mushroom in the universe. Well, this we have to get a picture of. <laughs> Spider, a plate of spider stew, made with all our own vegetables. Oh, thank you, Mama. But you know, I might have won the competition. I don't feel I deserve it. I didn't even know that mushrooms were plants. Oh, the mushrooms are fungi, Spider, but they're still good to eat. Listen, Mr. Mkise, I've got 500 bucks to spend on boots. I want you to have the gardening too. Oh no, I couldn't let you give me those, Spider. There's nothing I can do with them. Please take them. I know you can use them. Well, thank you very much, Spider. Thank you. <laughs> you know, you know who I feel sorry for? Yeah. Mr. Agrippa. <laughs> with, with, with his giant cucumber and his imaginary nephew. <laughs> and the look on his face when we found out what he was doing. <laughs> I wonder what he's doing now. <laughs> Here's to our winner. Yeah. <laughs> oh, now, if I sew this on properly, ah, there, nobody will be able to see it. And then all I have to do is take it along to that photographer person. And I tell her that my little niece, Jessie, uh, Janet, uh, Josephine, yes, Josephine, Josephine, yes, has been growing it. And I will surely win the prize. The 500 rand, the gardening tools. There we go. What are you doing? Welcome to Spider's Comic and Video Shop. Hey, this is all about us. It's all about Spider's Play. Here's me. There's a comic, a video, and an audio cassette for each of our adventures. And we buy them from you? Sure. Or write to Handspring Trust at 1 Magnet Street, Kensington, Johannesburg, 2094. 